Birbhum district in the state of West Bengal is a land of many scenic wonders. Khoai, which is situated in the north of Shantiniketan, is one of it. The name Khoai is given to the undulating red soil landform formed by erosion caused by small streams. The word Khoai means erosion in Bengali. Today, this area is a forest and a spot of tourist attraction. But it was an area of barren land and dry climate about two centuries ago when Tagore family first came to Shantiniketan. In his autobiography, Jibon Sriti, Robindranath Tagore says that he used to come here with his father to play with pebble stones. Narrow streams were also a typical feature of this area. As we know, Tagore was a man of nature. Hence, all the trees that we see here were artificially planted based on the great man's ideology. The most common tree we see here is Shonajuri. It was probably planted because it grows fast and is beyond the reach of local pasture animals. Sal and eucalyptus is also very much seen. However, owing to the harm eucalyptus causes to the groundwater level, it is planted no more. In between Shonajuri forest or Khoai, we can see many small villages of tribal communities. They are the original inhabitants of these lands of Birbhum. Being the keepers of these areas, they keep the forest clean and well maintained. They also have rights over the fireroots and other producers of the trees. Shonajuri Hat is a local fair organized by people around here mainly to sell crafts and cottage industry products. Popularly known as Shoni Bader Hat, it is one of the main tourist spot in the area. Crowds of tourist gatherings and numerous resorts and hotels are today endangering the beauty of Khoai. Numerous efforts are being made by eminent environmentalists to conserve this fragile red soil beauty. <laughs>